<laughs> Welcome to, to our invasive species field trip. All right. Here's everybody who's here. So my lab, uh, I work for Chief Six Project under the Ibusim National Department of uh, Resources and Development, Agriculture Division. So I will basically work with Kono, Maxon, and uh, Reed from Trea. So this is what we basically, our focus is mainly on the invasive species. So that's why I end up joining you guys today. So hopefully, I just started though, hopefully I can learn a lot from the experts like Maxon and uh, Ono. So today is my first day out here, so I hope I learn a lot today. Nice meeting you all. Thank you, uh, Nick, Dr. Soa, and uh, it's good to see you and Lisa again. Okay, good morning, everybody. My name is Sani Ono. I'm the invasive coordinator for Kerma. Yeah, I'm with Kerma also. I'm Moses. I'm the GIS officer for Kerma. To all, good morning all. My name is, I forgot my name. Anyway, I work for Kerma too. Uh, I'm the janitor for them. I do a lot of assisting and mostly in forestry and other unit if they need me. Thank you. To all, Austin Albert, also from Kerma. Uh, I'm Ili Lonno and I'm Maxon's assistant, assistant forester. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is George Silvers and uh, I'm the effing uh, campus team for Tri Campus. So it's a great opportunity for me to be part of this uh, field trip uh, because I'm sure that I will learn a lot of. Uh, information about um, infest species. So thank you all for allowing me to be part of this trip. Thank, you. All lab. thank you for coming. Okay, my name is Erica. I'm the education coordinator for Kosha Island Resource Management Authority. And nice meeting you all. I'm Liz Van Valkenburg, retired professor of biology at the University of Washington, enjoying my visit on Koshai, getting involved in this and that, and I'm very interested in invasive species. This is one of the 60 plus sites that we work on in Koshai. Um, Glerodentrum is all over the island. Um, we've been trying a lot of control measure uh, on this uh, invasive plant. It first introduced back in uh, early 90s. At first, people thought that these are uh, ornamental uh, flowers just planted at their backyard and they, they'll eventually die. But instead of that, it became uh, a wild spread all over the war village in Bashar, sorry, five communities in Bashar. And this uh, site is, uh, we've been working on this site for over uh, seven years, trying to uh, get rid of this uh, clarodendron. Started to become um, naturalized, meaning they're they're almost like one of the the few species that we have on the island for over uh, more than ten years. So we, we try to we did a lot of uh, control measure on it, like um, we apply chemical. We also try mechanical by just simply cut it and burn it. And this is the one. Spread on top and purple at the bottom. And in Goshai we call it Sha Shonin Matok. It goes fast. Yeah. And this was brought in as an ornamental plant. That's why they say Sha Shonin. Shonin Matok is purple since it's purple on the but I can see it's coming back. I can see it there. Yeah, it's coming back. And over there, and there's one back there. Now, is this a threat to other plants? Yeah, it covers the area where the 
and where trees are. It covers an area yeah. where, where trees are. And yeah, and okay. Yeah. And it grows fast. Yeah, okay. Cot. C-O-T. C-O-T-S. C-O-T. Yeah, Crown of thorns. Crown of thorn. And also we're looking at catfish. Some of these... Uh, uh, <laughs> three flats. Not all over the side. Uh -huh. Partly in the side. Okay. So catfish. They're not from here. They're yeah. So that's the cod. But hopefully soon we'll get um, some from the US Park Service to try to uh, control uh, some marine uh, species. Okay. Species. This ton ton, can you spell that? T A N G. T A N G. Oh, tan tan. Tang tang. Tang tang. So, okay, tang tang. All right. This is tang tang. If you would think of which one of the original whole thing? Just walk the link and Sure, try it. Right. That's how you get them. The, the tide is kind of high, that's why we need more of them. Uh, stay at the edge of the water. At low tide, you'd see more of them. Uh -huh. and but that's a lot that, of oysters. That, that's a big one. Yeah, this is a lot of oysters down there. Mile a minute. Uh huh. So this mile a minute. We have a native one, but uh, didn't have inches on it. Has a round shape, okay. same hard shape, but different um, shape at the edge of the. All right. This, this is one of the expensive uh, weed I would call. Okay. Not, somebody from Kusai went to Nara and brought, extended for it here, and then that is where it all start from here all over the island. Just recently, we had uh, a video from, I think it's from China. The name is Eurasian Tree Brown Sparrow. The sad thing about this is once it gets uh, published higher, uh, they might compete with our native birds. Those are the brown tree sparrows, the Asian brown tree sparrows. Okay. 